I flew to New York City just to do Stephen's program and I loved it. Stephen and the class have helped me tremendously. Um, I always had the ideas but I never knew really what to do with them. And uh, Stephen helped me form my ideas into jokes and uh, actually be able to make funny material. He was able to always calm me down before class and give me the motivation and I guess practice to be able to do what I want to do. I just turned 40. And yes, it's true. 40 is the new 20. Because I'm unemployed, I have no health insurance, <laughs> and I think I know everything. <laughs> if you feel like I'm looking a little thin, it's uh, because since I moved to New York, I've been getting a lot of pressure from the gay community to be under 100 pounds. <laughs> never done anything like this before so it was just a wonderful experience to to do this and I'll remember this for a long long time I'm a writer for TV and movies in Germany and I can tell you it's totally worth it to come here to New York to this great workshop of Stephen Rosenfield comedy is the best medicine that's why I'm here because I can't afford health care <laughs> Stephen puts the most experienced comedians and people who have never done stand-up ever together in one workshop because he believes that you know you're still always learning in the process and that it's not a matter of how much experience you have. You can, everyone can still learn from everybody else. Friends all over TV here. I was watching the TV show Hell's Kitchen. Is even a Brit telling Americans how to cook? <laughs> Is anyone here tasty British food? <laughs> There's a reason no one ever goes out for British. <laughs> All the success I've had is due to my work with Stephen Rosenfeld. He's been doing this for over 20 years and there's nobody like him. He has accelerated so many careers, including mine, and without him, it would be much more difficult to move ahead in stand-up comedy. My brother was born in Korea and I was born here, so we always call him the Chinese one because he looks like a What color is the back of my car? Blue. Blue, masculine and blue. Sir, what color do you think the back of your car is? Blue. Blue. No, blue's taken. Come on. <laughs> Red. Pink. Pink. Uh, no, your car has assless pants. <laughs> I'd recommend anybody to come out and check this out. It's awesome. 